It affects athletes across the country. Impact is a new concussion evaluation and management system for amateur and underage players, which has been launched with the support of the IRFU. The much-needed technology helps determine how extensive the player's injury is and how soon they can return to the field. Joining us with more is the Medical Director of Advanced Medical Services, Dr. Alan Byrne, and Kevin Sweeney, a young rugby player who's experienced concussion. Kevin, we'll hear your story in a couple of moments, uh, but just talk to us about impact, what it is and how it came about and how it works. Well, maybe the first point really I mean, would be just to mention concussion itself is a, is a disturbance of brain function, uh, usually as a result of a, a direct blow to the head, sometimes an indirect blow, resulting in a variety of uh, and varied um, clinical presentations, which can be quite confusing. Yeah. And um, impact, I suppose, at advanced medical services, we would view as uh, an additional tool in terms of managing that concussion. There have been four world conferences on concussion back to 2001, and even in the last one, which was in 2012, um, the emphasis is very much on the clinical management of concussion. And that still is the cornerstone of the management of concussion and the return to play. And impact, um, we believe, as a neurocognitive test, will allow uh, a, if you like, a, perhaps a better judgment on how somebody might return to playing safely. Uh, not necessarily earlier. Yeah. Uh, because there is a lag behind that, the physical symptom and the cognitive function. And that cognitive function, obviously, is, is, is measured. In, in, in impact has been used uh, about 8 million times, 8 million tests, mainly in North America. It's a validated scientific tool. And it, it is required because you see players are passionate about what they're doing and at a professional level, like it suits, it does no give. And we, we can remember Brian O'Driscoll arguing to get back onto the field. He was let back onto the field and then he got a further concussion. And then a couple of weeks later, same story. Uh, these things should not be happening. I think his father went public at the time to say he was very worried that, that somebody was done. And people have. Yeah, I think, I think um, anyone who's been working in sport, it's a, concussion is a difficult area. As I mentioned, there have been four world conferences with many experts trying to get to the bottom of this. So it's not easy. And I, I mean, I accept when you get a high-profile case like Brian O'Driscoll, it does highlight it. But it can highlight it in a positive way yeah. where we can actually look to see if we can sort of uh, make, if you like, a better impact in terms of the management. Um, impact is used by the IRFU uh, in their elite squads. And what we're hoping to do and planning to do with their support, and very grateful for their support, is to roll that out across the schools at the start and the clubs well at the start of this academic yes, year. Welcome hugely. Kevin, you, you experienced concussion, so far concussion in a, in a game with all Wesley. Yeah, uh, I played for Owls, as I said there, um, and it was about October last year when uh, I was playing a match. Um, now, I don't remember a huge amount of the day, to be honest, because probably the nature of concussion. Yeah, you know, yeah. I remember warming up for the game, I remember starting the game, and then the last thing I remember is going into a rook or so, or what I thought. And that's what I thought had happened. But um, turns out I went into a tackle, got my head kind of caught the wrong way, ended up getting a knee to the top of the head, then hit the ground. And then as I was getting back up all in the kind of the same movement, I got another knee to the side of the head. Okay. So then I was kind of flat out in the ground. I think I, uh, I was knocked out anyway. I don't remember anything really after that. And who took charge then? Basically, um, our club actually is pretty good with it. it has a, a person called a spotter so the member of the management team is uh, I know you've kind of heard about this but so a member of the management team we'll is kind of injury. we'll watch for injury yeah. and we'll watch a player so if a player is, goes into a heavy collision or if he's down and then gets back up then they'll be watched over the next few minutes to see if you know they're involving themselves yeah. properly in the game and if they're not then physio will kind of uh, come on off you come now, I was knocked I think pretty clean out so a physio sure. came over to me um, and then just ask me some basic questions, you know, what day is it, you know, did I know where it was, yeah. to which I, I didn't answer correctly, I, did, I don't, I, I think I started like, saying Manus when I was down in Donnybrook. And so. at, that, at that point, the yeah. season was made, let's get, get, get you to treatment. So, yeah, so I was taken straight off, um, then our physio, he's actually brilliant as well, he's trained to be a medical doctor as well, so he's a good ass, said he needs to go, so uh, a member of Val Wesley and my friend who I live with uh, took me to uh, A&E, uh, you know, and I was waiting there for a while, so, uh, you know, any typical, is, yeah. but, yeah. you know, I think, like, a tool, like, like a, pr a program, like, you know, Impact is obviously, you know, being valuable because I had to wait a few hours to kind of, yeah, for me to be told, yes, you were, yes, you were concussed, whereas, you know, if you have that test, you know, you could, you could easily just be said, you know, black and white, yeah, yes, you are, and, you know, this is, this is how long you have to be out for. And how long were you out for in the end? I was out for three weekends, so 23 days, and they were pretty strict at that. You know, okay. I had a match on the 23rd day, and I wanted to play it, and they said, it. no, we're okay. not playing it. So that's it was good sense. to see that they yeah. were kind of, yeah. it was good to see that they were they were looking after it properly. I think that they, they do it well in rugby. 
like particularly just because well, I think they kind of have to with the whole the yeah. heavy impacts and sure things like that. Bigger and bigger yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I suppose for the lay person who's involved with, with the club and helping out, it's usually voluntary. Uh, how do they spot concussion on the different levels of it? That's a really good question. It's difficult, and it's difficult for medics. Um, I think really important thing, two important things, if I could mention that um, you'll notice that. Sort of, Kevin wasn't aware of his surroundings. Yeah. The player is certainly not the person to make the decision about playing, staying on or not. So I think if you suspect a concussion, I think that's important, suspect, or if there is very obviously a concussion, well then that player needs to be removed from the pitch. So it's about education. Really. I mean, obviously Kevin's club seems to be very well equipped, not just with the physio, but a spotter, so administrators, referees, players. Yeah. Um, as well as doctors and physiotherapists, we all need to learn a bit more about it. While it's being backed by the IRFU and supported by the IRFU, there's a lot of schools who have gained football and hurling and soccer and sure. hockey um, and other sports. They they will receive the same? Without question. I mean, obviously, um, we're absolutely delighted with the support of the IRFU, uh, and I think they see it as an additional tool to be helpful. But we will be um, looking, you know, concussion is a, a problem in all sports, in football, soccer, yeah. that I work in. You're heavily involved in the FEI, aren't you? Yeah. And, and Gaelic football. Yeah. So we're looking at all of those sports. Uh, but I feel if we if we can uh, deliver, and we, we have a track record of being able to deliver, we've been involved in cardiac screening over the last four or five years, and we have the infrastructure to do and deliver on this program. All right, Dr. Byrne, Medical Director of Advanced Medical Services, thanks for joining us. Thank and of course, well known to your work with the FBI as well. And uh, Kevin, thanks for sharing the story. Thank thanks you. indeed.